But I, I think people. I think people know what it is, though. I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Look at this stat, man. Look at that stat. Do you, are you seeing that on the screen, or is that just me? Nah, I can see it. What about it? What about it? <laughs> Yo. A man said, what about it? I mean, this kind of these kind of stats make people uncomfortable, but it can't be more uncomfortable than getting murdered and ignoring it, right? Jeez, my man, look, we've we've cut down on killing white people. Look at this at nineteen eighty compared to twenty twenty two. Yo, we killed two. Yo, look at this shit. Yeah. You know how we always say, and I think we say this too, how people always say back in the day, sons stayed in their own neighborhood. Now they don't, but they back then they used to. I don't know if that's true. I have no yeah. reason to believe that some, some men were not out there hunting the gladiators in the 80s, 70s, 60s. Look at the 60s, man. We still was killing more black people in the 60s. More white people in the 60s. Look at this shit. Our number's way higher than this. Yo, this is crazy. We, we going easy on you, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> God, dog. Oh. Yeah, salute to Twitter, man, for keeping it real. Elon Musk. Nobody else is. Let's see what this woman is talking about, this beautiful woman. I basically just had the most racist experience in Italy. I've been here for like 10 days now, and the racism isn't like fully apparent, but it's apparent enough where you like feel it, but it's not just in your face. Come on, man. Who's being racist towards this woman? Right. Stop it. You know, they'll seat you in the back room. They'll seat you somewhere in the corner away from things. But I haven't been feeling it to this extent that I did just now. I left my hotel room with so much joy, and I was about to read my book. I was so excited to have breakfast alone. I get to the spot super close to my hotel, and they were closed yesterday when we got there at 3, it's now 1 p.m. He's like, table for one? I'm like, yes, table for one, please. He puts me at this table behind a wall, and I'm like, uh, can I sit at this one by the window? And he's like, oh, no, that's reserved. Mind you, there's like 10 other tables around that table, and he's like, sorry, that's reserved. And Did you ever think that um, maybe the table was reserved? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. What what do you think? What is she? Is she this is sister, isn't it? She's 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 a she's a Patel. She's a Patel, man. She's a Patel. Maybe. She's a straight Patel. Man. Yeah, she's a straight Patel, man. That's that's all, man. A straight. I mean, she kind of she kind of feels like she could be ambiguous too, though, right? Like she could be Italian. I mean, I would have if she told me she was Italian, I'd believe her. You know. Mm. Sicilian, maybe. I don't know. I think I think she's just a Patel. I think she's just a Patel. Yeah, me too. And then I see this other darker-skinned group that's behind a wall, not in front of the window. A white. Maybe family. they was in VIP, bitch. <laughs> They could have been in like a behind the wall because they was they had a special seating arrangement. These people are and you could tell she's not a um on Brito because her face is not round. Not round. 
Yeah, she not rounded in the face, man. Right. right. Family in front of the window. And I was like, no. I asked him if they're serving breakfast anymore. And he was like, no breakfast. It's time for lunch. And then he goes over to the white table and he's so friendly with them, laughing with them, having a ball. And I was like, Bushra, yes, this is racism. (laughs) Racism at its finest. She diagnosed that quick, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, also hit the hit the link, bro. Um, yeah, she's lying through her fucking teeth, trying to be a victim. Yeah, and and, it's, and, it's, and it'll work because you know no one will ever say shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch. No one will ever sell her that about this. Once she says racism, everybody will be like, okay. It's crazy. <sighs> and she's pretty, too. And we're told to ignore, you know, be like, no, this is in your head and be okay with things. But, like, all trip, I have not felt it to this degree. Maybe because I was alone and Mo wasn't with me, but I just was like, I, I just got up and left. And I was like, screw this place. I, I'm not at peace anymore. I can't read here. Oh, I'm fuming. I can't, like I can't believe a country runs like this. And I'm <laughs> right. You can leave, you know. Yo, she acts like literally, like like literally nothing happened. What she explained was right. literally nothing. Literally, right. what she explained was nothing. She explained literally nothing. Like there's, I'm still. Don't know what, like, there's nothing that could not be explained by something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's nothing that happened that could not be explained by something else. If that's the worst, yeah. If that's the worst experience, then that's pathetic. Yeah, like, think about it. The the waiter was laughing with the others. Maybe they had developed a rapport. Maybe they had been there. Um. Maybe he had been waiting on their table for a while. Um, and the, the white people, maybe the white people were nice. Like it's always they 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 they, they always got a reason why somebody's um treating them different other than the fact that I mean it's always race, it's never anything else, it's never nothing they did or or any reason or in America, we face racism, but like the way that Italy, Europe, actually has racism so prevalent is is ridiculous. Like, and she's just talking about this incident. Remember, this is all she's talking about, and she's smearing this entire country. And she's from India, where they literally have a class of dark skinned people called the Untouchables. That live like literally like it's the 1700s. You can't touch them if you're from a higher class. I see Bangladeshis who are working carts and work at liquor stores, and and Filipinos working at coffee shops and masseuse places, and they're like, uh, if it's even if it's more than the degree that I felt it here. I can't even imagine what life is like here. And I'm so grateful that I live in a country that actually embraces my culture and doesn't put me behind a window at a restaurant, but. Yo, I hate this woman. This woman is such a fucking piece of shit. Let's see what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The girl claims Rome was racist due to a seating in the restaurants, (laughs) but it may be due to the customary seat reservations Criticism suggests she plays the victim. Um, <laughs> says, if you have nothing else, then just play the race card. Um, should have sent her directly to the kitchen for wash up and up duties. Great, go away and don't come back. <laughs> Last deportation now. Oh, this sister. Okay, this sister says it's racist too. 
so let me just come and say something real quick because I don't talk on TikTok. I don't do this talking thing, but I'm in Italy right now and I was on live just before. Like, if you guys watched my live, I was on live talking about how Italy is so racist. And then, cool, I must have got banned from live because I was saying how they don't like black people here because they don't. Like, everyone is literally white here or like Italian and they don't, they've never seen a black person before, I feel like. And it's 100% facts because when you come here and you're a black person, they literally look at you like you're a weirdo. Like, the people here are very much racist. And you can come for me if you want, but I'm not going to lie, they secretly hate black people in Italy. They hate everyone who's not their race. Unless you're white, they'll, they'll allow it. But if you're any different type of culture, trust me, you're going to get treated different. But that's all I'm saying. Like, Italy, if you're black, make sure you're prepared to come here because... Yeah, you know, you know, I want to see a video like this of an Italian in the Congo, just talking about their experience in the Congo. Yo, you got a couple of uh, super chats. I mean, um, Rumble Rains. Oh, really? Yo, yo, wow. hit the like, man. Two hundred in here. Let's let's make that uh like button skyrocket. Yeah, man. This is. <laughs> let's see. Hey, I resent I resent that uh that black woman commenting on Italy. I know my city in um Nigeria, Benin City, our number one export to Italy is black women. So I, I think they like us there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like a little Yeah, bit. it's it's all like I had a a a, a white person looked at me funny, so now I got a Go live and smear the entire country. Yeah, like, like what? What's with that? <laughs> wow! Salute to um Harpo Kratz. He says, "Op, you need one of those OnlyFans vibrators." So with so for super chat it goes on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! That's hysterical, <laughs> man. That's funny, man. Paul's like a motherfucker too, man. Um. Hold it down for me for one second, guys. I'll be right back, man. Yeah. What's up, Wicked, man? What's cracking, my G? Yo, what's up, brother? How you been? Man, I'm cool, man. Uh, what's man, good, y'all? Son. Yo, what's up, Wardell? What's up? Who that, Mossy? Uh, Wardell. Ooh. Oh, Wardell. Oh, hey, Wardell in the building. What's going on? What's good, Yo, man? Salute, salute to Doug Chunks for all those membership, bro. You the man, dog. Yeah. Hey, yeah, thanks, salute. man. Yeah, salute, Doug. What's up with you? Hey, Osa, you confused Wardell for Mossy. They all look alike <laughs> to you. <laughs> I'm on my phone today. Right. I'm on my phone today. I can't see. I just saw it. It's all good. Yo, I think Osa, my headphones are about to die. Have you been watching the, the show, Osa, like the last couple of days? Um, I saw last night's jump, the early jump. I saw most of that. Uh, what I missed though, man, on fire, bro! Like fire, bro! Like, yeah, I mean, seen this madness. Yeah, man, straight madness, bro! Heartbreaking shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, and um, you know the joint, the joint in New York with the sister at uh, the the twins, one of the twins. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That joint is is kind of fucked up. But you know what, though? It, it's like, it'd be so hard to, like... I mean, I feel really bad for this sister, Young, but, like, it'd be so hard to know what happened because, like, some of these chicks be doing the most and you don't really know, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, dude is fucked yeah. up regardless. But, like... Yeah, for sure. Like, yo, like, yo, case in point, you know, again, y'all know I live in the stand, so... Right. I'm at the, uh, I walk into the, um, I walk up to the corner store. This chick is arguing with this dude. Like she's standing in the doorway. Dude is inside. She's arguing with him. And she's like, da, 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 da. I don't know why you had to pull out a gun on me just because I said I would spray you with mace. I was like, what? Damn. And then, Did you see and that? then <laughs> yeah. And then the, then the Bama was like, man. You ain't had to do all that, do, 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 do. Then he actually flashed the gun again. <laughs> and and it's like, yo, I'm like, yo, why is she still arguing with this man? Like, he 
You know what I'm saying? It's not like right. he said it. Like, he really showed the gun at least twice. Because when I walked, I saw it. You know what I'm saying? You know what you know what well, oh, I mean, yeah. honestly, though, honestly, though, like, if he was a lot younger, I would, I would have believed it. But he was like a lot older. I, I could just tell, I got son. How don't ever, nobody. Can, he was probably like early 40s. Probably he could be older. So it's like, Bro, and then, and then it was, sure, no, he would, no, he would, but it just not in that, pl- that like, is, not that right there. Yeah, yeah. Like not right there, right then. Like it just, it was to the point yeah. where, but again, this is just sun man shit. I could glean, like you just, yeah. it's always safe to assume they going to shoot. But like, yeah, I think but so. like, I'm just, I'm just like looking at her, like, why are you arguing with this dude? Right. Like, why are Crazy, you still dude. talking to him? Like she was out the door. It's not like. She couldn't go anywhere. Like she clearly just could have left. Then her because this bitch is like attention. But that's yeah, the idea clearly, right? You know what I'm saying? Right, clearly. But it's yeah, she was trying to get attention. She was trying to blow up the spot, make the scene hot, and da 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 da. And she did a good, she did a good job. Like he wasn't really going to use it, but but like think about it. Like we don't know what how aggressive he was on his approach. We don't even know what he exactly yeah. did I don't, it didn't seem yeah. like he was trying to bag her but like like he he could have got too close to her he could have been in a personal space he could have not like he could have just said hello you see what i'm saying <laughs> right like, was it was this in dc yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you think, know that's think right. about yeah. that think about that shit though bro dc has very strict gun laws look at that man dc ain't gonna Goddamn straight gun. Nobody, these niggas, niggas Batman don't give a fuck. You know how many, you know how many guns they recover? In? Like, do you know the types of guns they recover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm from Chicago. Nobody cares. Trust me, I'm from Chicago, right? Bro, <laughs> right. We have straight gun laws, right? Yeah. All right. these, everybody has a gun, bro. Everybody has yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah. Nah, these <laughs> Batmans, these Batmans be having uh all type of stuff. Hey, they, they, I seen. I seen a, um, somebody did a stupid prank video, you know what I'm saying? One of them prank joints. And this Bama pulled a RPG out of his pants, yo. What? <laughs> yeah, on the street, young. Yeah, I was don't like, be yo. Ah, yeah, young. Like, it's 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 crazy out here. It's having, here. Uh, in DC, hmm? do they be having switches? Is that like a thing over there, too? The guy um, with the switch? I- I've seen like videos. I don't know how common it is, but yeah, I, I mean, I've seen some like videos, like some Twitter shit, where it's like, yeah, yeah. they letting them things off. Yeah, they it, they have them. It's super common over here. It's, it's like very common. The switch with like the stand or the drum. Mm, right, right, right. Think right, about right. how dangerous you have. You have dudes that are not necessarily like smart, right? Yeah. Just unloading, bro. Like you saw the video he did earlier, right? With the uh, where he shot up the, the 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 bar, where he pulled the pistol out of the girl's bra. Oh no, nah. that was today early. Now nah, I ain't see that. I, I think I it happened can't. a couple of days ago, right? But he, yeah, it was the other man, day. It was like a follow up to it, right? So long story short, this dude, uh, I guess he his girl had put the pistol in her in her in her breast. I guess he saw mm-hmm. someone. I guess something happened. He, he grabbed the gun. It was out on camera. He grabbed the gun from her bra. <laughs> And open fire into like the crowd, dude. Hit five people, killed the uh, an employee, and he also shot Damn. one of his. He also shot one of his friends in the Damn. process. Damn. So that that that's what me and I were talking about earlier, right? About how how can we say that that behavior was caused by like disenfranchisement or poverty or right. systematic racism? <laughs> Someone shooting into a crowd in that manner, yeah. it's, I, I mean, it, it really, it's a him problem, right? It's a him issue. Right, right. Yeah, man. That's, that's out of, where, where was that? Do you, what was that? Do you remember where that? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't even remember. I think it was in it Florida matter. or something. It don't matter, because it could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be yeah, anywhere. it it really could just be anywhere for Yo, real. Uh, where was that story where the where the bar was struggling with money because the, the sun man shot out the bar? That was Indianapolis. Indianapolis, <laughs> right? 
Right. It yeah. could be anywhere though. Like you just it could be said anywhere. Florida, but say throw a dart, throw a dart on the map. Right. Throw a dart on the map. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. The stand is, is a wicked place. <laughs> yeah, man. Um everybody everybody should. I don't know if everybody knows to come over to Rumble. But um Nah, I I didn't. I mean I got the Rumble notification though, so how did you end okay. up here though? How did you know to come here then? Only because like, I got the rumble notification. It popped up on my phone. Yeah, because YouTube got taken down. <laughs> so now we're on Rumble. Oh, what do you mean? The whole page or just the uh just the video the I video. Think. What last night's jump? No, not <laughs> last night because I was last night and tonight, really. Yeah, last night and tonight. Oh, I was watching yeah. last night. Oh, earlier I was watching last night. They took it down after it was um already up though. They took it down after it was up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh damn, that's crud. Well, for what? Yeah. For what? 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 Your, what was on there last night? It was. It was. It's just. It's, it's it, the last couple. Of nights, I think they they starting to you know get upset with me, man. They targeting me, man. Yeah, but it's all good. Down, man. Man. They deciphered the the code, the kiter, yeah. and they deciphered it. Oh, they deciphered yeah. the code. Oh yeah, yeah, that man. Salute the Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ruby, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Yeah, y'all can still hit the super chat over here if y'all want to. Y'all can still support the channel, man. Don't feel, don't don't be shy, man. Um, let's see, man. Um, let's see what this is some people talking about. Black in Poland. Of course, we can't leave our houses on Independence Day. We're black in Poland. Of course, everyone thinks we can't speak the language. Ale ja mogę. Yes, man. We're black in Poland. Of course, I'm going to get asked if this is my real hair. We're black in Poland. Of course, people stare. We're black in Poland. Of course, we walk around with pepper spray. We're black in Poland. Of course, the picture for our residency got denied because we had an afro. We're black in Poland. Of course, nobody's going to believe our experiences. We're black in Poland. Of course, we know every other black person in Poland. We're black in Poland. Of course, a drunk man has tried to kiss my hand. We're black in Poland. Of course, we get called slurs at the Christmas market. <laughs> We're black in Poland. Of course, we can't find the makeup shades in store. We These get people it, only talk about Poland. <laughs> yeah, and they're only talking about the negative experiences. Right, and 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 they're lying. They're probably lies. But here's the thing: let's say they were true. You're black in Poland for a reason, you fucking sun turd. There's a reason you left your fucking shithole and went to Poland. Right. If I was black in Poland, I would be like, I got. Ten snow bunnies lined up. <laughs> my Hell yeah! <laughs> Stop uh, playing with me. Stop playing. These are ungrateful people, man. Yeah, and it's like you can't fix that because what? This is the thing about white people. White people are going to try to fix this. What can we do to make you more comfortable? <laughs> right, in our homogenous. Black is Poland. Yeah. It's in stores. We're black in Poland. Of course, everyone thinks we're refugees. We're black in Poland. Of course, nobody wants us here. We're black in Poland. Of course, it's impossible to find hair Where products here. Fucking with you? We're black in Poland. Of course, they check under my headscarf for a bomb. <laughs> I'm black in Poland. Of course, I get DMs asking me, how big is it? Right. <laughs> That's offensive, I know. It's our tough life. <laughs> These people are, yeah, they, these people are living the soft life. Wow. Uh, the gliders in uh, South Africa should do one of these. these people, <laughs> right. These people are terrible. Black people are terrible. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, I'd be pissed. Man, you're going to have to leave, please. My children here. Jesus. <laughs> Can you, man, I can't even imagine this would happen. I think I'd I would be like, throw something at her. 
Yeah, I think I'd be like at first like confused, you know. That's literally disgusting. I mean, that's trash. In a restaurant <laughs> with your kids. I would throw something uh, at her. <laughs> Black culture's her. trash. <laughs> Yo, it's just trash. <laughs> but it, but you know, she felt like she really made a statement. Like, yeah, talk about entitlement. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, she's not worried about any kind of repercussion, any kind of um. Like over correction, she doesn't seem worried about it. And then, nah, and then she's... we have the, and then we have those motherfuckers in Poland exaggerating their shit. Yeah, but she, <laughs> she's a two hundred eighty pound sun woman, man. Ain't nobody gonna say shit there. And white people are nice, man. That's the thing you're not really realizing. White people are nice. Some niggas are like, bitch. Niggas right. would beat the shit out there. They put feet on her. They put feet on her. Yeah. Probably would that bitch. Very well could. It's, it's like on the table. Shooting her is on the table. <laughs> yeah, In my country, man, unfortunately. That's disrespectful. That's like, yeah. That's very. It's just, she wouldn't have did that, though. Everybody hit the like button, too, man. Hit the like button, man. Y'all come over here, they rumble and, and fall asleep. Everybody <laughs> act like, yo, we got 29 fucking likes, man. Right. 34 oh, likes, yo. This shit is embarrassing, man. Everybody come over here and just be like, fuck this shit. This is some low budget. If if that's the case, <laughs> I should just I should just go to sleep and get some rest. <laughs> Nah, no, I feel you. Man. <laughs> I should just get some rest, man. Right, Press man. one though. Like if if, no if this one. stream if this stream ain't worth people hitting the like button, right? I mean, all the donations gonna shut down when you go to Rumble. You know that you're not gonna get no donations on Rumble. But if you can't just hit the like button on Rumble, man, <laughs> right, that shit man. is crazy. I might as well just get some sleep, man. Um, you make a good point, man. I think, yeah, 40, 40, 50, or just call it a day, to be honest, man. Yeah, man. I mean, y'all just seen this man. He just knocked out on us. He just KO'd. Best hit the leg. <laughs> um... What is this? His boy said he'd be up to the task, and I said, "Let's go." I'm not that is fun. I'm really going. Wagon gang, today we're looking for a random person to do a food contest with me. I found this vulcanizer who was fasting, so one of his boys said he'd be up to the task, and I said, "Let's go." I'm not that is fun. I'm really going this one. I'm really do this one like this out. I was going to show him. Daniel. And Daniel, finish your food before me, and you get to take this fifty thousand naira home. Are you ready? Bye. Ah. Fully, fully prepared. In three, two, one, go. Ah. What are they doing like I said? Shot it. Oh, boy. Mm. You can only run, 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 Okay. What's that Jello that's price? The... That should be yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that's it should look like Jello. Yeah, yeah, that shit's fire. Yeah, yeah it is. Bomb. No doubt. No doubt. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's delicious, man. My wife be making that a lot, man. She, 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 she don't know that. Um, she, she, she. It gets better. It's getting better and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me yeah. wrong. Like, at first, it wasn't. She didn't know how to use the palm oil. The palm oil is the kicker. Yeah. 
you know, the peppers and all that stuff and the, the paste is good, but if you, you you need the palm oil for some reason, man. Um Yeah, that's facts. Interracial murders of males, black murderer, black victim. So let's see. White black murderer, blacks kill twenty six percent of males, male whites, twenty nine percent of male Hispanics, um, twenty eight percent of white plus Hispanic. I don't know what that means. They be fucking up with that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Black victims, ninety percent. It's the same number. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm having trouble reading that graph, but um, yeah, yeah that first I, chart, that first chart was um, who killed the the, uh, no, never mind. Look, look, white man, no, go ahead, Clyde. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 this one, but this one is okay. Who the black per victim killed? Correct. Yeah. Who the black murderer killed? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yo, five percent is pretty high for so five. That's a lot. Wow. Gladys killing yeah. Sunday. <laughs> so a ratio of five to one. Yeah. Salute to um Dabi Dosa, and I think that's TSM. He he says pretend. Oh, I thought that was DDK. Oh, oh, that's DVK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, yeah. "Pretend this is a super chat. You crack me up, sleepyhead. Hey, man, <laughs> rest. Listen, man, getting sleep, man, is is, is everybody knows. Y'all know the deal, man. Y'all know what time it is. Getting sleep at this. Um, you know how hard it is to get sleep. Oh, you yeah. got all these yeah, little facts. worms, man. Yeah, facts." That's important. Everyone knows, man. Everyone here knows. Everyone here who, who has kids knows what time it is, man. Um, salute to um, Beast Life, man. He says five dollars for the Rumble stream. Salute to you, man. Um, salute to Beast Life. Um, yeah, I want to see some white people get fucked up, though. But anyway, let's see this one, man. Hello. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Tell him, girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can't believe it. They try to hit him with the curveball. He can't believe he got that. Bro, say I'm in this bitch. But it's about right. I mean, that's about the way the world works. But I think they're doing that because <laughs> no. isn't that Memphis? But I think it's because he's a Hogs fan, right? Maybe. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. Oh, because he got that Hogs jersey. And did he have a Denver hat on? It looked like he had a yeah, Browns yeah. on And I think it looked like she had like a Memphis Grizzlies card, maybe. So it could be that shit. You know how they like to fuck with uh, away team fans? Oh, yeah. I mean, all right. Maybe they did him dirty. They did him real no. dirty. <laughs> wow! Look at this. Black children were 100 times more likely to be shot than white children during the first 21 and a half months of the coronavirus pandemic. Damn. 
according to a published a study published in the in the Journal of America American Medical Association. This shows how important it is. All right, Alexis, you're Hold on. Hold on, Tom. Let me let me. It says so. The findings of that it says. This study shows how important it is to bring a health disparity lens to research. The professor at the Boston University School of Public Health and one of the study's authors. It shows how structural racism, including the inequitable distribution of resources, residential racial segregation, and distribution of opportunities, not only harms children of color, but privileges white children. Oh, this is no way. This is true. No way. It's not a fucking AI some shit. Hey, yo, oh. y'all ever seen this? Y'all heard of this movie called Antebellum? No. Oh man, I, I ain't heard of it. it. Oh yeah, like I I saw it. So, I mean, I don't care. I'm a spoiler. Y'all ain't gonna watch it. But uh, it's basically yeah, drawing with with Janelle Monae, and she's like this. Um, she's like a. Uh, some type of you know doctor or something. She got a she went to Spelman and then she went to <laughs> Columbia University to get her doctorate. And basically, she's like a, um. Then she goes around the country talking about all that shit. Like in that last post, she talks all that shit, right? So, pretty much, basically, she gets abducted into like real life slavery. Like they make it look like it's past trauma but it's actually present day and she gets taken to this real slave shit where they're like, they're really taking black people and they're like really making them pick cotton and really be slaves and doing them like that. And do, and do, 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 and she escapes. Damn, I kind of want to see that. Yo. So like, I'm watching it with a sun woman and she's like, she's like, yeah, I actually think this happens today. I said, I said, I think this should happen today. I said to all these people who go and get these doctorates from these white universities and still got the nerve to talk all this shit about slavery and racism, I think that they should have that happen to them. She was so mad at me when I said that shit to her. But, Did you smash before you said that? Yeah, before and after. But um, okay. But yeah, but. But like she was shocked though. Nah, she was shocked. She's like, oh my god, I can't believe you said that. I mean, but it's like, like yo, it's just like, how can, like, I don't get it. You're man. addicted. Like, You're addicted yeah. to racism. They love race. Racism is not racism. Like, like I used to like pick my sores, right? And it yeah. would hurt, but it would feel good. <laughs> I, like you know what I'm saying? I, I always like to pick my pick pick my you know what I'm saying the skin off my sores and shit. And it's like that's kind of like how black people are. It, it, even though it it, it 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 hurts, it feels good. They love racism, sadistic. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's like yeah, one of our power cards. Yeah, but it's like. Yeah, it's so strange. And then she ain't even understand. I'm like, yo, the reason why this shit angers me because it's like basically those type of people are just they're basically saying they're special and they're better than the, than everybody else. And she's like, no, they're not. I'm like, of course they are. Cause if everything in this country is racist, but they were able to do it, then they're better than you. Yeah. She, she just got quiet. <laughs> right. I never thought of it like that. We've got seven million. Now this is the most critical statistic in South Africa that I'm putting on this table now. We've got 7 million registered personal taxpayers. We've got almost 20 million grant recipients. You cannot work with that ratio. Mm. You cannot work with that ratio of taxpayers to grant recipients. It should be the other way around. There should be 20 million productive personal taxpaying citizens who support with a decent social wage the people who can't look after themselves, mm -hmm. but that you only get through a growing economy. You only get that through a growing economy. Governments don't create jobs. They create the conditions for investment that drives economic growth and gets jobs. That's the only way to do it sustainably. And we've got it the other way around. We've got 7 million registered personal taxpayers, many of whom are immigrating. Mm. They pay huge rates of taxation. I once told somebody that, you know, pay 45% of my income in tax. Mm. She says, what does that mean? Damn. I said, I pay it to the government. Oh, I'll never pay my money to the government. I said, no, no. That's, no, what, no, happens. that's what happens. Yeah. You pay your money to the government. 
Where is that? Off 